Well, what is Ehrenfest theorem? This is a theorem which you can think of a bridge that bridges the gap between classical and quantum mechanics. Think of a typical classical scenario where you get a pendulum and you know the initial conditions and you can actually predict where it lands, where will the pendulum go. Think of an electron or any subatomic particle in a box. Now, because it is quantum physics, you will get a lot of uncertainties. The wave particle duality, the entanglement, superposition, and a lot of things. What it tells is that if you do a particular calculation or observation or experiment over and over and over again, then the total outcome on an average will meet with Newton's law or that of classical mechanics. The Ehrenfest theorem actually looks a little bit complicated and intimidating, and the equation looks something like this. However, there are three important concepts. The first one is called a commutator. So 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 2. But in quantum mechanics, it is not the same. This is the concept of what are called commutators. Next come expectation values. And these are something which are called mean values. Then we get something which is called quantum operator, which gives measurable physical quantities. So totally, it takes up all those things and put it up in a single equation. I know it is difficult, but it carries some very fundamental steps. Please go to my channel Physics for Student, where you can find a very detailed video on what is Ehrenfest theorem. I can tell you if you go through that video, not only you will learn this theorem, but wave function collapse, what is wave particle duality, expectation values, what is wave function and how these observables or quantum operators act on a wave function and what are their implications, you can learn a lot. This theorem is very important in order to understand uh, getting a basic foundation of classical physics.